Good morning, everybody. So, Northwest Florida, we are in the December lull, but at the same time, this is December 18th, and uh, weather is looking very, very cold and very, very awesome. I'm hoping for the best today. I haven't checked cameras in a few weeks, and I wanna check those this morning too. So I'm hoping that I get a deer on the ground today. Um, it's been a long season. I haven't got to hunt as much as last year. So I'm trying to make the most of every day I can hunt. Still got uh, stitches. They don't get taken out until next week. I am bow hunting today. So uh, I haven't tried to pull it back with those stitches. But at the same time, when a deer's coming through, I ain't going to feel it. So I'm just going to suck it up and pull my bow back and hopefully get a buck on the ground today. Um, we'll go into my go one of my go-to spots where I get a lot of uh, buck activity. And we're going to see what happens today. See what the deer are doing. I hope you guys have fun joining me today. And next time you see me, I will be in the stand. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover because audio for the action camera isn't very good. But they, uh, the day started out good. It was a chaos. At, this is 7.30 a.m. And I just got done doing a grunt call and shaking the tree behind me. And these bucks come running in. It's two little spikes, nothing big. They uh, get behind me, as you'll see in the video. And they uh, kind of push each other just for a couple seconds and then something startles them and they'll look behind and then they go back the way they came and literally about two minutes after they clear out I get a four point and a little spike coming from behind
So the bushes were in the way, but you can see him in the center right, right now going to the center. He uh, gets in there, and the other one was tearing up this bush. So he goes in there with him, and they start bumping heads. You can see a glimpse of them pushing here for a second if you just pay close attention right there. And then they jump and turn like something catches their ear or something over the hill, but I never figured out what it was. Real quickly after these two bucks left, I had two more come in behind me. They're thrashing through the palmettos. Um, one was a little spike, a little worse than the two that came in, and one was a four point. But they all looked about the same age. They came in behind me and went to my right, to the left of the screen, and they went to the scrape that's over there. And the four point was hitting a branch while he let the little spike hit the scrape first. And then he goes in after, and he does some, some weird looking stuff, the scrape with his head, and then he kind of acts like a bronco, bronco uh, on the way out. He runs sideways a little bit, just goofing off.
shortly after those two bucks just kind of went off in the distance, had three does come up, and one acted like she winded me and blew and ran off. I didn't get the feeling this that happened so fast. And the other two just watched her run off, and they just kind of mosied off. They weren't, like, scared of anything. And uh, as soon as they disappeared, I had this other buck kind of slip through. And I got my bow ready because I've already learned my lesson and seen a buck with a bigger buck behind it. So I know this buck wasn't legal, but I was waiting to see what was coming in behind him. But he was a nice little four point. Got some potential for next year. So as you can tell from my horrible hog call, we had some hogs come in right on the edge of the creek there, a little in this thick stuff, a little out of distance in my comfortable shooting. So I was waiting for them to get closer, but as soon as I made that awful hog noise, they recognized it, I guess, and, and just hightailed it out of there and turned around and left. And then right after they left, I head down and got some lunch. All right, we're back up for the afternoon. We went and checked some cameras. I should have just kept sitting because I bumped a deer on the way back in here. Oh, I sound like a doe, but hopefully it doesn't mess anything up for me. I'm sweating. It's warmed up a little bit, but it's supposed to drop real quick in these temperatures. And hopefully the deer come back in here. I'm pretty good ways in here, so where I hunt, you have to be out of this once at a certain time so I have to shoot a deer by a certain time to be able to find it or I will have to come back and find it tomorrow so hopefully we can put one down real quick and call it a day Okay, that was insane. As soon as I got done with that interview of me getting back up in the tree, like literally I've been up in the tree in like, for like two minutes, a doe just comes running up from the creek and stops right under my stand. I'm only two sticks high. I'm over here talking. <laughs> and she hangs out for a while. And she went up the hill. I lost sight of her. But I don't think she's far. I think she's still around. So. I still gotta watch my movement in here, but this wind is helping a lot.
even though I didn't get a deer down in this video, it was a nice, exciting, cold day in Florida. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.